the penguin episode 2 review so bro like what did you think i think this, these episodes are just gonna keep getting better and better what was, just, it, what was it about this episode that that got your attention it was just how he was just like he was playing double agent to everybody it's like he's not on nobody's side but his side yeah uh, he's basically gonna do whatever he has to do to become the penguin that we all know in the comics and he's real slick real like sneaky with it setting people up conniving manipulative like he just knows how to like weasel <laughs> himself out of things and it's crazy because right. it's like he doesn't care who dies who whatever as long as that he gets out of the situation har right. unharmed because i don't know this like this two game that this two-sided game that he's playing is crazy because it's like he's gonna have the Maronis going against the Falcons and then by the time everything's all said and done they're gonna be all dead and he's gonna take over easily so it's like almost like a Game of Thrones kind of a backstabbing kind of a scenario thing is that that backstabbing thing has always been in everything oh but yeah. you could tell it his manipulation is amazing though. He knows how to do it, when to do it. It's basically instinct. Like he whatever he gotta do, he gonna do to survive. He's not he's not trying to hit death. So whatever scenario life puts him, he's always gonna figure a way out. Yeah. And it's like it's it's not easy because you know he has Sophia Falcone and she's like mm -hmm. on everything. She's like on top of it, like beasting she just like can't wait to get any kind of information on who's a part of like you know her brother's death who has who's involved who's the fault and stuff and she's just ready to body somebody and it's like for her for her to be on it as much as she is and stuff penguin's got to be even extra on it because any little mistake and it's over any other regular person it would have been super easy for him but because she has her like the cycle that she is She's going to be on him 24-7. Yeah, yeah. Her, her character is developing greatly. Like, her, her way of becoming the hangman, like, oof. It, it, you could tell she's insane. <laughs> yeah. This episode was, like, mainly just showing us more of the side of, you know, how Oz is going to set everybody up and then just wait till they just kill each other one by one. So. Right. You don't go by the plan, or you, you, you're dead. That's it. And again, I wasn't bored, bro. It felt like, you know, cinema. It felt like a movie. It felt like a, I don't know, just nothing, nothing wasted. Just, you know, straight entertainment that we could just enjoy and just like you know you you become more curious as we watch mm -hmm. it because they start like hinting this hinting that so it's like it's it's amping up so i'm mm -hmm. looking forward to what they're gonna do next yeah it, it was it gave me like the 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 beginning was just like the first episode like like if they keep starting them off like that it's gonna be a good and spicy show yep so it was getting better, folks. Episode two, you know, I'm liking it. I know you liking it too, so. Definitely liking the show. Yeah. You guys let us know in the comment section, you know. I'm I'm going to give it to episode three, but I already got a feeling that this is going to be straight win. Like, it's going to be good. The good and not let us down. I'm hoping that, yeah. um, you know, not wrong on this one, so. No, nah, this one's doing so good that they they about to do another spinoff. Yeah. Like, you understand it. Like, the numbers is doing great. Yeah. We're about to see a lot of spinoffs of the Batman universe if, if this continues going great. Oh, I think yeah. The Arkham, the, the, the Arkham Asylum, I think they're trying to do the show of. So yeah, they're going to start that, bringing... That's too. what it looks like. They're going to start bringing a rogues gallery because if you see the coincidence, the first Joker mm -hmm. did good. The second one, I don't know. I don't have that much faith in the second one, but... At least the first one did good, and it was a different take on Joker. Now they did the same thing with Penguin, a different take, and it's doing very well. So that's all they're going to do. If they could do a different take on the Rogues Gallery villains and just like bring some grounded villains that they could give more 
complexity, more story, more background to them. Yeah, it's gonna it's, get interesting. It's like I said in the last one. It's cheaper, and you can you can save money on the special effects because none of them need powers. You can get a lot of them grounded villains that don't need no powers, and it's just straight action. Yep. That's what we've been missing. We need some action. Yep. They focus too much on the on the superpowers sometimes, and it's like there's a lot of grounded heroes and super villains that could be getting some justice out there, but everybody thinks it's all about the powers, bro. Yeah, so. Alright, Penguin Episode 2 You let us know what you think